earnings season is here and I'm ready to go with some of the top names off this first week. And it's not all about the banks this week, although I'm going to talk about one of them, the one that is mostly going to be in the spotlight. But what are the other names that you should be watching this week, the lead off week? I brought them all. So let's dive right in and see what they are. So the first one out of the gate is the big bank, JP Morgan. Why well, talk about the others, right? When you have the king of the big banks breaking out to new all-time highs. And it's also, also got that great track record, just the two misses here in the last five years. And so it's put together a nice uh, string of the beats during the pandemic. And now with those yields trying to rise again, you have the shares busting out. Now, they are up 31% year to date, and that's easily beating the S&P 500, which is up only just 16%. Shares aren't that expensive here because the E part of the equation is on the rise, trading with the PE of just 12. So the banks are going to be in the spotlight this week because is this going to be their time? Are we finally going to see a sustained rally in all of the bank stocks? We will see. Then we're going to switch it over to healthcare with United Health Group. Now, look at this chart. No misses, not even during the pandemic. So they've either met or beat for five years. That's impressive given the conditions that are out there. So nobody's uh, faulting that. And just a steady winner. Now, it is hanging out right around its all-time highs there. So it hasn't done too much here in 20. 21 um, basically monitoring and staying in line with the s p 500 here year to date the shares up about 15 percent and as i said s p 500 up about 16 percent so what will be the catalyst for united health group i don't know but there always is one after these areas where it just kind of consolidates so this is one to watch on the health insurance side then we're going to switch over to the restaurants. My favorite, the king of the restaurants, although Chipotle is making quite a comeback in that category, but we'll see if Domino's can still hold on to the crown here. Now, they have beat two times in a row after those two misses, but those were misses during the pandemic. So no one is surprised that a restaurant chain is having difficulty on the earnings beat during a global pandemic but they've got the act together the last two quarters and the shares have soared, as you've seen, up 25% year to date, back to yet another new high. Now I've talked about Domino's in the past and it hasn't been cheap for quite a number of years, but it's more expensive than ever here, trading with the forward PE of 35 and it's facing you know, labor cost inflation, um, commodity cost inflation, delivery issues, who knows what else. So this is going to be one that you're going to want to watch this week if you want to know what's happening on the restaurant side of things. Then we're going to switch it over to Taiwan Semiconductor. So yeah, we even have a semiconductor reporting this week. And this is an interesting one because after the big rally in 2020, it really hasn't gone anywhere, done anything here in 2021 with all the pressures on the semiconductor sector and the um, you know backlog that they're having and the difficulty in getting those semis produced. So year to date, these shares are up just 1.1% after the three beats in a row there, trading with a PE of 27. So it's not altogether cheap after the two year rally. Two years, it's gained 123%. So no one can fault it for taking a breather, but how many investors are hanging out and sticking around? I don't know, but we'll see and learn a lot in this earnings report. And then I'm going to wrap it up with the stock I haven't covered in years on the Earnings All-Star video. Yes, it's true. Alcoa, ticker AA. It used to lead off earnings season, remember, but then it split into two and then nobody cared about it much anymore. In 2020, as you can see, the shares finally bottomed out and then have been on this torrid rebound here. They're still cheap, trading just seven times after those six beats in a row. Does not pay a dividend, but the shares are up 105% year to date. So this is one of the best performers, certainly of this week. 
And this one, everybody's going to be keeping an eye on to see if it can get to those 2018 highs and if it can keep its earning streak intact. So Alcoa back on the scene, it's going to be a hot one. So as you can see, it is quite a diverse number of companies in different industries reporting this week. It's not all about the big banks, but we will hear from almost all of the big banks this week. And into next week, that's when the real action starts. We're going to get the fangs and, and everyone starting to flow in starting next week when it gets really busy. So you don't want to miss a single episode of the Earnings All-Stars videos. You can get them all on our YouTube channel at zax.com slash YouTube, but be sure to get them. And I'll see you again next week with a lot more earnings charts.